You are listening to the Hello Sport Podcast. What's up, punters and dribblers? Welcome back to the Hello Sport Podcast. I'm one qualified opinion on wavering bias. Thursday. 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 Day before Hacker Major. Day after we launched Horizontal Season 2023. Eddie is in it. He's looking beautiful. 23-24. 23-24. Great point. First off, How good do I look? Massive... Shout out to Eddie for looking so good. Uh, just, I wanted to start off thanking Eddie for looking so fucking good in his horizontal season merch. Listen, we can't all look this good except if you got the merch. So if you got it, a big congratulations to you. You are on your journey yep. to horizontality. Thank uh, you to everyone. I'm on my journey is really in vogue at the moment. Yeah, so. yeah it's a journey. You know, we're all on our journey. Yeah. Um, your truth, your journey. Just for those curious, the fucking slides are unbelievably comfortable. We're and they're out, gone. So right. slides it is gone. what it is. But slides this gone. fucking shirt is unbelievable. A couple of people were saying, like, does Rayon breathe? Uh, Rayon breathes better than anything. Just alive. so you know. Just so just so everyone knows here. Same way with the rosé, same way with anything we do. If we're going to, like, send it out to the punter and the dribbler, we're not... We like, road test it. We road test the fuck out of it. We've been, we've tried every fabric known to man. It just so happens, rayon happens to be not only the softest material, but it actually breathes fucking well. I don't know all the materials out there, but there are some, when you put on a shirt, especially a party shirt, when you're like, you know, you're, you're doing a bit of ripping and tearing in the heat, where you're like, how the fuck's this thing even legal to sell to human beings? They ask, it, it doesn't breathe at all. You may as well be wrapped in plastic. And it sticks to your skin. Sticks to your skin. Yeah, yeah, fucks you up. Or it's like a bit coarse, a bit abrasive. This is soft as a fucking baby's bottom. Baby's like, ass. And also, the th- the beauty of it, Eddie, is that like, because obviously they're a bit looser, you're not, this isn't, you're not meant to be a skin tight party shirt, but when the wind catches it, like a oh, sail yeah. on a boat, mm. Like, it, it it cools you down once the wind gets in. It's it. when you know you're alive. Yeah. When this thing's flapping in the in the breeze, punters and dribblers, you know that you've made it. Yeah. To where? To heaven. To heaven. To horizontal heaven. To Mecca. To whoever the fuck you want. Like, wherever your idea of, like, the holy grail is, in this shirt with the wind whipping through you, you've made it. It's, it's as a, simple as that. It's a summer essential. Again, thank you to everyone who has uh, cop some so far. We, we love you. We fucking ya. love you. We couldn't do it without you. And genuinely, truthfully, sincerely, honestly, very much appreciate it. But obviously, we know that there's fucking more to go. We know that there's more out there who want it. So you got to get in while the getting's good. you got to get in while the getting's good. Those that are asking about the hats, uh, I'll let you know a little secret. Tom and I of unorganized fame left it late. They're still not in the country. So it's up to the gods whether they're here yeah. before Christmas or not. We don't we actually genuinely don't know. Don't know. Production dramas and hold ups. So they're either here or they're not here, but they're not here right now. The only <laughs> one that's here right now is on my fucking head. So <laughs> Literally, uh, I actually don't have my own. No, he doesn't even have his own. This that's is the why, that's why you never see me wear no, it. Because I actually sample. don't have one. Uh, because God knows if I had one, it'd be fucking on my skull. Yeah. Just when samples come into the studio, it's kind of like you got to claim them pretty quick. You've claimed our other samples. Well, because right I was always like, I'm like, but I'm also like, you fucking claim every sample we ever get. I know. Well, because I'm usually, especially when it's the hats, I'm usually like, I'm the hat guy in the office in terms of the organ. Like, that's my role a little bit in the hat. I've got the relationship. Well, you organize with the hat. it, yes. Yes. But this one, much more even keeled in terms of like getting the hats done. That hat rolls into town. That hasn't left your head. There's a that's a. It's a fucking good hat. This is again. This is completely different. This is off topic that. stuff. Well, it's not actually it's not off actually, topic. It's, it's on topic. It's on topic. Uh, so just so you know, puns and dribblers, when we know they're in the country, you'll know they're in the country. Yeah, like people who go, "Geez, really thought the hats were getting sold." You're like, we haven't. Said they were going on sale once. Yeah. We've been pushing horizontal season merch for fucking, what, four weeks, three weeks? Yeah. At what point did we say the hats are on sale? If they're on sale, you'll know they're on sale. Sorry, horizontal season. And they're not season, on sale because not on sale, they're, they're not, not here. They're not fucking here. Um, true story. True story. But horizontal season, though, listen, again, you'd be fucking mad as a cut snake to miss out on this thing because I will not be taking this off from now until the 1st of Feb, which is obviously dribbling New Year. Make smart decisions. Hello, sport.shop. Thanks for those that copped. Uh, and thanks for those that, you know, will emerge as coppers, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Not cops, as in police. No. Coppers. Although police would look good in this too. They would look good in that. Boys in blue. Thank you for your service. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I and just girls. Want, and girls. Sorry. <laughs> girls and boys in blue. 
Um, we, there's actually a fuckload we got to get to today. Yes. Right? There is a lot. There's one thing, though, that came across my desk this morning. Yes. That blows my mind that you didn't tell me the second you saw me on Monday and we did the podcast. I get it. Sometimes we get distracted. I right? had something else on my mind that I told you about. That yes, just, it took yes. up my bandwidth yeah. and I haven't been able to shake it and I can't tell on the podcast. No, we but, can't tell that on the podcast. But, but, it, but it took up a significant ma- amount of my bandwidth and I don't know why, it just consumed. We'll me. never talk about it on the podcast, but it does have something to do with acid, not us. No. And schoolies. And, and schoolies. And that's it. That's, that's it. all that's we'll all say. say. <laughs> took up a lot of my bandwidth, yeah. fucked me up. Uh, and that's why on Monday when I came back very relaxed that I forgot to tell me old mate a, a, a fucking an interesting sort of situation that I found myself in. I almost dropped me dumbbells. Mm. I was so blown away by this story. Almost dropped your dummies. Dunnies? Dummies? Dumb, dummies. Dummy bell? 25s this morning. Anyway, not a big deal. Good for you, man. Uh, so, we were long lunching. In Byron. In Byron. On Saturday. Do you want to say the venue? No. I won't say the venue. Because it gives too much away. Okay. In fa- you know what I mean? Like it narrows... Sort of. Well, it narrows things down. Well... Fuck it. We're at the hut in Byron. <laughs> <laughs> Having a great lunch. Shout out to the hut. A terrific venue. A terrific place. Fucking good for just kicking the fucking slides off and just ripping in. If you're that sort of operator, you would be if you bought the Hello Sports slides. If you didn't, then you can't be that sort of operator. Sorry. Uh, and we would just get, we were getting into our work, Tom. I probably had, you know, three or four Tommies. Kid was on his way. Had to go relieve myself, go to the little boy's room just to sort of, uh, you know, get one out. Yeah. Not a shit, just a piss. Oh, I thought you were going to say a wank. <laughs> well, interesting you should say that. <laughs> <laughs> because I've gone to uh, use a cubicle. It's like a it's a unisex fucking type operation. There's probably four toilets, something like. That. I've gone in, seen one that's like half green, half red. Going to twist it, nah, lock someone in there. Sweet, I move on to the next one. Next one is all green. So I'm thinking that should be good to go. Well. Th- that's the whole point of the green and the red system, right? That's the point of the green, green and red go, system. Red and I'd stop. like to say this, like obviously there's some venues where if the doors open, like they won't automatically close, but you don't know what venue you're at. You don't, I'm not, I don't know the fucking hinge operation of the if doors. If it's green, you're good. If it's green, you're good to go. If it's red, you fucking, you hang up your stumps. And if it's half green, half red, you give a knock or you, or, or you give it a wiggle. A little bit of a wiggle. And you'll get a, oi! Yeah. Or it'll be locked and you'll move on. Yep. We all know toilet formalities. Yep. I mean, I don't even know why I'm sitting here explaining it to the punter and the dribbler. Because it seems like sometimes if it's, you're, well, it's, it's well, not I'm about to tell you what. If you're in a cubicle or a, behind a door, this was in a cubicle setup. This is a door setup. Your own space sort of setup. Your own sink sort of setup. Oh. Then lock the fucking door. Yeah. Now. Because it's green, I've gone in with vigor. With confidence. With, with confidence. With purpose. With the confidence of a man that sees a green door, sees a green light, and sees all systems go. So I've given it a fucking Yeehaw. heave-ho. I'm in. I'm going. I'm, I'm moving in to the room. I'm not, I'm not checking. I'm moving in. So you're not – this isn't a – like I'm a not, I'm not, it's not a check the- and peer. It's a check and I'm in because okay. I've got things to do. Yeah. Man on a mission sort of stuff. Now, to my surprise, there was someone in there. Now, on the face of it, you go, that's not that interesting, Eddie. There's someone in there and you've interrupted them. That happens sometimes. Happens from time to time. Happens on the fucking big jobs and the small. Happens. Now, I didn't stumble across a man having a piss, which would have been like the most sort of innocuous of events. In fact, if I repeated that on the fucking podcast, then we'd cut it. Well, then I've lost my way. Yeah, and you could argue: Do I even do I even have a spot on the fucking show anymore? Do, we, do you deserve a mic? Do I deserve a mic? That's right. As in, like when Gilly dropped that ball off Brett Lee, and he turns to fucking Hados and he goes, "I'm done. I'm out." Yeah, that I don't good. have it anymore. Nah. that would be my moment. I'm just talking about you know walking in on a bloke having a piss. That's not I'd, what happened. That's not what happened. It was a, a lady in there. Now again, is that that interesting? 
Not really. No, it's, 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 it's really not that interesting. It does get interesting, though, when I tell you what was going on in there. <laughs> now, she's alone. Okay? So it wasn't like she was getting railed or anything. <laughs> can I say that? Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> but she did have a leg up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt? Has he cut his lip? No, that's right. Look at me. Oh, you're right. She did have a leg up like this. <laughs> now, what, what's she resting her leg on? On the th- it was like it looked like it looked like it was just like that. <laughs> so dragging it up on the seat though. Yeah, I think it was on the seat, but I can't be sure. Yeah, of but course. it was up like that. Yeah, I can't be sure on that detail. Yeah, let's assume it was on, on the, the seat, seat, but I can't be sure. Yeah, lip hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Keep checking for blood. Yeah. None, none yet. I think I'm good. Does Got excited course. telling the story. Does look a mark. There's a mark there. Yeah, of course it's marked. <laughs> Punching on this stopper. Uh, uh, so she's got a foot up. We assume punters and dribblers on the seat. Yeah. But we can't be sure. Can't be sure. And I'm not going to sit here and swear on my mother that yeah. that's what I saw. Yeah. But it was up like this. Now, I've walked in. She's like this. Now... There's another part of the story that I sort of filled in afterwards. So I'll fill in my, how, where my mind went afterwards. I see like movement like this when I walk in. I look in and I go, holy fuck. Open the door. Oh, sorry. Whoa. And she's like, whoa. <laughs> fuck. Sorry. And I fucking bail. Luckily, there's another shit has come up. I'm in there. I've locked the door. I'm like, fucking chill out. Now, what have I seen? What have I fucking seen in there? First thought was like, was she putting a tampon in? Was she having a rub? But then I remember seeing an arm up like that, holding something. I think it was a phone. I think I walked in on a box shot. (laughs) Like a a, a fucking, a vag selfie. I think I might have walked in on a... A nude. Oh my That's God. I think I've walked in on. I think I've walked in on a nude. <laughs> but it's like not a nude. It's just a weird. And then, and then, like, how's the lip, firstly? Looks all right, doesn't it? No, nah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lips are right. Lips okay. So she's taken a photo of a box. That's what I've seen. That's what I, that I'm in. Um, it's a half second. I've, I've, I've da- I'm downloading There's data. There's no reason for your arm to be up. That's what, that's what, that's what's done me. Why is your arm up here? That's what, that's, do you know what I mean? That's a, you take a photo of your crazy. Puss. That's a puss selfie. Because otherwise, listen, let's go through it. Let's excavate this punters and dribblers. Now, if you're doing a shit or a piss, you're like this. Get marking like up this? the thighs. What? Marking up the thighs of your elbows. You're like this, you, usually. I mean, I'm not a shill. I don't know how you guys do it. Well, girl. it's a shit. It's the same thing. Same thing. I'm assuming like this. Or like this. But call me crazy. Wouldn't be like this. You wouldn't have your leg up to do a piss. Well, not while you're holding the phone. Maybe you're stretching then, out your, 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 your groin. Then I'm like, if you're putting a fucking, you know, something in. Hygiene. You, uh, is it a sanitary product? A sanitary product. A once a month product. Is it like, a, do you, do you, do you, is that, that seems like a bit much, probably. It's just the arm is That's the, probably a bit much, but then why is the arm up here? Holding a phone. The arm's up here. I'm pretty sure she's holding a phone. Well, like, no, you need to be sure. You can't say pretty well, sure. Well, like she's holding a phone. I'd be, I'd say I'm ninety five percent sure. What happens after in terms of you go in to well, you, like, first do you see of all, her back out in the fucking restaurant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw her in the real world. Did you yeah. what did you did you make eye contact with her? No. You didn't try to look over and be like what the fuck was that? No, I didn't. I was fucking rattled by it. <laughs> I'm not a fucking... That's, I, I don't get sent that sort of thing, let alone get wa- walk in on scene. No, you know no. what I mean? Yeah. It's not a very attractive shot. Wouldn't the camera usually be in front compared to up higher? Well, it depends on what you're going for. If you I want guess. straight down Main Street, then yeah, it'd be in the front. But if you want a bit of a like, yo. More artsy. Listen, mate. I'm I'm not a big nude guy. I, I again I don't get sent them. That's what happens when you're a long termer. You don't get fucking nudes every other day, and so it's not really my cup of tea. What's 
that's the wrong word. It's not. I'm not an artist. You know what I mean. I'm no. not. I'm not. You don't send them either. I'm shit. not a purveyor of fine nudes. No. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to open a gallery because it'd be empty. But be also, in there. you wouldn't be able to release your own. No. Yours would be very like vanilla, and as would mine. I. W- it'd be like penis bumhole. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Here's I mean, a shot of my bum hole. I wouldn't be creative or dastardly enough to think of that. Legs you know behind I mean? the like head. Like that's a. You're dealing with a different kettle of fish there. Someone who's seen some winners. Well, someone you don't just. That's not your first nude. Correct. If you're sending. You've got runs on the board. If you're sending vag shots from a Byron Bay restaurant, mm. uh, toilet, yep. then you are. You're Mike Hussey knocking on the door of a fucking test start. You know what I mean? You might already be fucking. You might be a veteran. <laughs> I don't think you're knocking on the door. I think your baggy green looks old as shit. <laughs> and I'm not talking about a vagina. I'm talking about a ba- I'm talking yeah. cricket sets. Yeah. No, we're talking. We're talking. I'm talking about cricket. Like, we're talking nudes, weight of runs. 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 So from a test cricket perspective, you've got one of the most tattered, raggedy fucking baggy greens of all time, given how many nudes you have to have sent if you're taking box shots in a bar and toilet. Yeah, <laughs> at a long lunch. That's at what a I nice mean, yeah. venue. Like, let's nip off to the shitters so I can send a puss photo. Correct. Correct. And that's what I think shocked me the most is that, A, you don't tend to walk into a lot of people in the John, let alone female. Usually they're, they're separate. S- we're, we're separated. So you don't, you, don't, you don't come across it very often. But to come across that, I needed to go in for a couple of breathers to be like, what uh, have I seen? How do I approach it? Where to from here? Do I have to go and fucking shake a hand and go, it's all good, we can move past this? Do I g- ignore it? And that's what I, exactly what I did. Faced away from her, which how? was already my seat, so... That's nice, yeah, don't want to... I didn't have to change things I, up. I don't know how you'd go back into a restaurant after that happening. Like, for her. You know what I mean? Well, like she's that's- probably... I mean, listen, you either, you either go, how much has he seen? What has he seen? How much has he seen? You basically got your leg wrapped around your head. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking with a 12 megapixel camera. Well, I can't be sure of the megapixels. <laughs> Listen, these days, if you're below 12, you're fucking... You should Where are we at megapixel-wise? We're at min 12, aren't we? They're like 64 now. I reckon they're way higher than Well, that. exactly. What was what was good megapixel work? Like, was Dude, I remember when the Nokia's had one. One meg. And you look back at those photos and you how the fuck did you Didn't think you get like 4.1 megapixels and shit? Wasn't I remember it? there was like ones. I remember ones. And you're like, this photo is fucking disgraceful. Like, I don't even know how you would... Look back on this photo. So, that's what happened to me the other day. And it's been good to get it off my chest. Can I ask a question? Been cathartic. That this, this might, this is a, I'd ask this no matter what. So it's no matter who it is, no matter a guy or a girl, because I'm interested about the situation. So don't climb down me pee hole. Was she hot? Or not? She was, she wasn't unattractive. And I asked that because let's say it was a guy. You want to switch it up, but it's not, it's a girl. Like if, if they are particularly unpleasant, <laughs> then that's, that's, no, no, that, no. that's an added layer. If they're just no. a normal person, no, no, it's no, like, no, you're not no, fucking, no, no, no. Like you're not they, fucking Miranda Kerr, like, obviously, but like, it's no, just, you no, know. No. It wasn't, it was certainly, certainly not Miranda Kerr area. Cause there's like Miranda Kerr, then there's everyone in between. And then there's people that are unfortunate looking, and it's yes. like if you're sending out, she wasn't, she wasn't unfortunate looking. No, and we, so it wasn't a full extended. No, 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 it wasn't <laughs> extended. No, no. Well, she wouldn't have been able to take the photo, would she? There wasn't, there wasn't that. It was it, again, as I said. Okay, I wasn't sure if you know. Again, on the toilet seat though, right? You got to be pretty, well. I can't be sure could, of that. Was there a sanitary bin next to him? Again, I'm just. I've. I, was it I a walk disabled in, toilet? Was there a rail? Don't know. Jesus Christ. It wasn't disabled. They're all the same, but they're like rooms yeah, that you right. go into. Do you know what I mean? No, I understand what you mean, but sometimes they've got one where you're like, here's a rail for disabled people that... Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. You're asking a lot of me for a, for a fucking <sighs> Bruh, quick fuck, look. I've got more questions as well, but I mean, I get it. We've got a limited amount of time here. Um, <laughs> did, you, uh, did you get a look at like the group she was sitting with at the table? She wasn't on a date or anything with someone a else. Guy a guy and another girl. guy and another girl, okay. Older, a bit older. A bit older? Like a parent situation? Fuck, dude. Imagine being out for lunch with your parents. No, 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 no. They were all a bit older. <gasps> How old? A guy was probably... No, how old is she? She'd be... 
late thirties, early forties. Wow, an early forties, late thirties shot, late thirties probably. Well, that's not that's not a fair bit older. Did you say a fair bit older? I don't know. A bit older. A bit older. About ten years older than yeah, me. It's a okay. bit older than me. Yeah, no, that's fair. Well, if it's early forties. Yeah, it said late thirties, early forties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit wow. older. Wow, an early forties. Byron bathroom box shot. Um, did you cop a... No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> fair. Nah. Fair. Good. No. Nah. Nah. Good. Nah. Good. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Nah, I've thought about it. <laughs> Shout out to you if you're listening. The leg didn't stay up. So it was, <laughs> did it come straight down? Like, was it all? It wasn't all the way down by the time I'd left. Put it that way. That's how quick you were out. Or like your, your reaction time better than hers. Oh, you'd have to think she's reacting quicker. Because she's, because she's. Well, her leg wasn't all the way down. It does beg the question what the, what the door was doing unlocked. Do you want to be caught? But like also, I, I mean, I've forgotten to lock a door before. It has happened, but I'm not. I'm I'm in there for the right, for the right reasons, or for the reasons the room is intended for. I'm not saying it's wrong. You're doing a bar and bathroom box shop. Yeah, I don't like, think there's anything wrong. With nothing that. wrong with that. It is shocking. It's not what you expect to see. But I've you know locked the fucking door if you're going to do it. You would think, but each of their own. Play on each of their own. Partners and Dribblers, as always, brought to you by our good friends at Ned's, the number one betting platform on planet Earth. Yeah, yeah. Tell you what. The app has, you know, they're always constantly improving, but the app's gone to a new level oh, just recently. So, it's gone to a new so level. good now. The profiles tab is the thing that we're talking about. Obviously, we've all got our own profiles on there where you basically, you can go and see like everything we've sort of, bets we've got live, bets that we've had that have come and gone. Um, there's like a feed that I was fucking around with today and like you can actually just scroll through and see like all the bets that the people you follow um, have got coming up. You can... Copy them if you want, all that sort of shit. But it's uh, it's humming in there. Oh fuck yeah! I got a, I got a couple of good futures on as well. I reckon, Ethan Ewing. You? I copied it today. Bang! I saw it. I went in there and went bang. Fuck yeah! If you've got a surfing bet on, it's, I'm gonna go after. Yeah, you. Yeah, I've got a good feeling about Ethan in 2024. Punters and dribblers, a really good fe- feeling. So Ethan Ewing, futures bet, yep. WSL, get after it. Share it, copy it, get around me. I've got one follow on right Tom, now. Actually, follow me. Follow Sebo. Follow Sebo. Don't follow Tobler. Um, Don't follow do. Tobler. Be a complete waste of your time. Complete waste of your time. Yep. Uh, my, yeah. My, I had an APL bet last night that fell fucking one leg short. That's annoying. But it's okay. It is what it is. It happens. All right. This is the world of punting. You can't win them all. In fact, you probably won't. Um, anyway, shout out to Neds. Get on there. Have a play around. You've got the private group, which you already know about the about even group. Biggest group on there. Uh, the passcode is Dribbler. We'll see you in there. You imagine what you could be buying instead. For free and confidential support, call the number on screen or visit the website. Punters and Dribblers got some news. Don't we, Ed? Well, not us, but there's news surrounding this fine show of ours. What's the news? There is news. Yeah, yeah, there's news. Yeah, there's news. Uh, and for that news, we'll head over to Dio Dave. It's all on me. Well, yeah, my time at the Hello Sport podcast is coming to an end. You know, you look at previous legends of the game in different <laughs> areas. You know, Don Bradman, 334. Cameron Smith, 430. The numbers stack up. I started here. As a young boy, episode 213, we're now at 570 odds. So, so how many have you done? Well, it would be in the in the range of 300. There's been ones here. So you're a 300 gamer? 300 uh, gamer. 300 gamer, I would say, yeah. with confidence. Yeah. I don't mind that being like a thing. No, I don't mind that. Yeah. I don't mind that at all. He's Are a 300, 300 gamer. gamer. Plus. 300 gamer. Let's get that number. We'll get the number. Now, obviously, we're as shocked as all of you that we didn't fire Dave and that he actually is... <laughs> He's leaving on his own Choosing terms. to leave on his own terms. He's leaving with his head held high. Head held high, chest puffed out, shoulders back. Like Big one up. of those birds of paradise, you know what I mean? Birds of, birds of paradise? Look at him, mate. Oh, yeah, where they're trying to look to fuck. Yep. Yeah, I get you. Um, He's puffed out. Dave, 
You just full time work too much for you. Pretty much, I couldn't, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't kick it with the big boys. I was fine coming in a couple times a week for an hour or yeah, so, and then yeah, being yeah. able to smoke bongs the rest of the time. Yeah, but you're not cut out for that life. Yeah, uh, no, have you got any? Not. Have you got? Obviously, we're sad to see you go. Um, end of an era, punters. And end of an era. End of an era. David Bloom, Dior Dave is no longer. You're just going to go back to normal Dave. Pretty much. I'm just going to be because obviously Dior is owned by Hello Sport. Yeah, we yeah. Did, you know, into we perpetuity. Own, yeah, perpetuity. Yeah. All rights reserved, so I'm, we I'm, will be <laughs> hanging up the Dior. Yeah. Um, well, we're just going to put it on ice. Yes. Do you? Or hand it to someone else. Are no. you looking for work? Is this a, is this like I'm Dior Dave, soon to just be Dave? I'm looking for work. Reach out if you need. I'm Dave Bloom. Give me work. Well, if there's if there's good opportunities, then I wouldn't say no to them. What's a good opportunity? Um, eight hours a week. Yeah, eight hours a week, something in the range of like a few thousand per hour. Yeah, um, yeah. you know, bong breaks every selling cocaine. Sounds minutes. like it might be. Yeah, you'd probably get close to on something like that. Although yeah. we wouldn't suggest it. No, no I don't, don't think I'm heading into that. I'm, I'm not that desperate just yet. But just yet. We'll see how my options go after this. Okay. But yeah. And have you got the full support of the family? I do. Home? Yeah, the the family are behind me. They they understand. You know they. It was, it was a tough decision and, you know, with a bit of sincerity in it, I owe everything I am as Dave, as Dior Dave to you two for just giving a young kid a shot at a time when, you know. When a young kid needed one. When, when a young, young kid, kid needed, needed one, shot. yeah. Giving a young kid a shot at a time when a young kid needed one. That's that's basically us. Yeah, credit to us for that. Yeah. Listen, I'd like to turn this segment more about Tom and I yeah. and our charitable work to a, yeah. young, a young upstart. Who a young bonghead. A young bonghead who's who's looking to, to change his stars, change his fortunes. When we got Dave, he was a little seed in the ground, a corrupted little seed. Mm. That we did, it, did, it, did it, a usual like a gardener would be like, no, nah, that seed. Well, they'd be like, that this seed, seed this grow. seed is a weed, and we were like, no, mm -hmm. it's not. No, it's not. That seed's got go about it. You could smoke that one day. <laughs> 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 and so we blossomed and and cultivated. Yep. Trimmed, and curated, and trimmed, and loved, and sung to this seed, and has become Dior Dave, the man in front of your eyes. Uh, a child becomes a boy, becomes a man. A man. Who, you know, he was living with his parents when he first came on. Yes. Then uh, now he's loveless. Moved, loveless. Mm. Now, now he's he, moved now, out of home. Loved got up. Got a miss -o, And now he's unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> No, Dave, you'll be with us until February. Yep. Until the start of Feb, Until the think. start of Feb, yep. Dribble New Year, is also Dior Dave's New Year. Um, we are hiring. We are hiring. So, uh, peer behind the curtain, like day in the life sort of vlog vibes here, we were already bringing on brother of Tom, Will Birmingham, who's a fucking straight up stud, one of the nicest guys of all time. And Funny motherfucker. a fucking hilarious man. He was already starting coincidentally February 1st of 2024. So we were looking to grow this fucking little family of ours already by bringing him on. In fact, we were growing the family. We're now leaving, losing a Dave. So Dave needs to be replaced. Yep. Otherwise, Tobler will fucking die <laughs> of overwork. Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, <laughs> They heard that, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that was tough. Top so die. we will need someone to replace David, someone with a bit of fucking go, a bit of panache, someone who's not afraid to roll up the sleeves, get the hands dirty and rip and tear for the podcast. Got to know what you're doing. And gotta for the world, you got to be out. You got to have you got to have a creative bent. You got to have video editing skills out the fucking gate as in like you got to have them. Yeah, you got to have them. Like, you don't need to have gone to uni. You could be at uni. I don't give a fuck, but you don't need to have nah, gone to uni. Nah, you don't need you to just, have gone to uni. You don't need to have gone to uni. You just need to be able to do the shit we need coming in. Correct. You need to be you need to be well versed in the media landscape. Even if and, and if you fucking work that out yourself in front of YouTube or just trial and error, good for you, bruh. Or and you're you're bralette. working you're working across all of our shows, so you know, and that's you're across not just, the universe. Across the universe, that's us. That's what we mean. Well, that's about even. You're involved in some breaking capacity, the breaking the yips across everything. Um, and you report to Tobler, who he's a lovely guy. He's a lovely guy. Oh, he can be a bit testy if he hasn't had his 
Uh, uh, protein bar? Yeah, his chocolate yeah, protein. Yeah, his chocolate protein chocolate bar. Chocolate protein bars, uh, like 12 of them a day, then yeah. he will be pissed off. But He's, he, 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 gets, he gets bearable after fifth or sixth. So just let him get into just his let work. Him get into his work. Anyway, that's the... That's the that's out there now. Uh, so if they want to get in touch, turbo at hellosport. Yep. dot com dot au. Yep. Let's Send me a portfolio of your work and like a list of your skills and like. And I'd say this: if it looks like shit, even if you've got like a sparkling resume, I don't care. It's attention to detail. Yeah, it's got to look good because otherwise that's a representation of how you're going to look. Correct. Um, it is funny to see, you know, how the, the requirements for applying for a job here have changed since I applied. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, the back with- then, when we were fucking <laughs> nobodies, it was call the dribbler hotline and plead your case. Yeah. That Having won't be required on this. No experience. Yeah, no, no game. experience necessary. And yeah, well, we're, we're now in the experience game. Yeah, we need experience. Um, but Dave, truthfully, love you very much. Love you, brah. Excited to see you. We miss, mate. We want to see you blossom and bloom. Yes. Yep. No pun intended. Stay patient, Dior Day fans. Stay patient, (laughs) Dior Day fans. Watch this space. Yeah. But no, thank you to my dads. I appreciate everything you've done for me, created me, the man I am. Your parents might be offended by hearing you say that. No, but but it's true. It is true. I mean, listen. Mama and Papa Bloom, it is true. You can't ignore the truth. No, you can't. Because the truth will set you free, puns and dribblers. That's a life yeah. lesson for this Thursday. Yeah. The 7th of the December. 7th, 2023. In the year of our Lord and Saviour, St. Peter Volandis. Let's move on. Shout out to Dave. Shout out to Dave. Dave, can you please get up a photo of Brock Lesnar's daughter? Yes. Did you see this, dude? Nope. Should I? It's been doing the rounds over the last 24 hours, less 12 hours online. I think I saw it first on... IG last night. Brock Lesnar's daughter just broke a fucking record, shot put record at her uni. Have a go at this chick. I heard someone describe it as, this is what, uh, like this girl looks like if Brock Lesnar and Brock Brock Lesnar had a child. And this isn't like a, well, you just, she's you, a weapon. She's like a, the, the genetics are just insane. You're celebrating. I'm celebrating. Athletic prowess. I'd love to know her dimensions. Is she like, because what's Brock, like 6'4"? Fucking 300 pounds. No which idea. Is what? What's 300 pounds in kilos? In the old. Yeah. In kilos. Like 140? That's fucking insane. I can only speculate what a Brock at times Brock would look like in yeah. female form. She's a, she's a beast. I'm imagining a, just a slightly smaller Brock. Yeah. Like she just looks like a fucking, a weapon basically. She's an athlete, but you're like, holy fuck. Oh shit. Colorado State. Click into it. Is Maya Lesnar, daughter of WWE and UFC legend Brock Lesnar, is off to a strong start in her own athletic career. Maya, junior uh, season of a track and field team at American University, made a remarkable blah, 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 blah. Selling in both weight throw and indoor shot put events. But how is this? How is the indoor shot put where she truly shone, breaking the school record with a remarkable throw of 18.5 metres, smashing the previous record of 17.55 for context, the Australian women's outdoor record is 19.74 metres. That's in huge trouble, the Australian women's outdoor record, which obviously she can't set. She's got <laughs> she's got Olympic gold written all over her. Yeah. Myers acceptance of performance elevated at number one position in Colorado State's top 20 for indoor shot put, according to the website. She's now leading the nation in women's indoor shot put. What the fuck is the difference between indoor and outdoor shot put? Well, it'd be a weather, like wind. No wind. That's obviously what it is. Sure. Marginal. But with a shot put, it all it'd counts. It'd make next to fucking no difference, wouldn't it? It all counts. I wonder. Shot put though, like and obviously she's a fucking if there's any video footage, she's obviously like a beast. But whether there's something like better for her to be putting her athletic prowess to. In terms of making that, that cash that mark. dollar. Not that she needs to, because Brock's balling, but like still. Well, I think if you if if Brock's balling, there's it's a good way to get your, yourself on the map, winning an Olympic gold. Also, a pretty fucking sick achievement. Then you can turn your attention to throwing for a Dude, living. Dude, she could become an MMA fighter. Correct. Throw first, fight second. She also second. expressed a desire to join the military. Okay, so that's all she wants. She's a bit more Calling it her dream job. They just, we don't have that energy in Australia, really. Like, obviously, there are many people who serve in the military. Mm. And again, thank you for your service. But... In America, it is like, I don't hear many people saying the dream job is a, 
is to be in the military. Again, I'm completely fucking... It would uh, be for some people, Of course sure. it would. I'm completely shut off to it. But, like, it's just an interesting... I feel like America hold up their servicemen and women way more hectically. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I think so, for sure. Like, you can... You get on planes quicker. I feel like they even you like do I mean? like. Yeah, is it? That's yeah. a weird example, but no, like no, it's one not. I noticed. No, no, because no, when, no, when you're in the airport, they're like, if you're a serviceman, when you can go on board first, don't yep. you? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they take it very seriously, for sure. Massive active army as well, or like armed forces, comparatively. Obviously, their population is significantly bigger, so you would expect it. But there is more of a not reverence isn't the right word because we definitely Anzacs are revered. Us. Yes, but. It's not as uh, tangible in a day-to-day sense. Yes. Is probably how I'd look at it. Okay, can we see this shop wood here? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's oh, good technique. Isn't it? I just wanted to hear some vol go back. I just want to hear a bit, is it like a... Grunt. Grunt. Looking for a grunt? Oh, not even a grunt. Oh, she loved it. She loved it out the hand. Now, is that Brock filming? Let me just listen, hear his voice. No, I don't think so. don't think so. It's impressive stuff. Yeah, it is. Colorado State got a real fucking future star on their Wait, hands. Wait, they got a real one on their hands, don't they? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Maya Lesnar, 18.5 metres. That is insane. Maya also has a twin brother, Luke. What's Luke up to? Um, not What's sure. What's his dimensions? What are their dimensions? Is she like six foot? So it says here her exact dimensions are known. Uh, Brock Lesnar is... Six foot three, and apparently she's around a foot shorter than her father. Six two. Wow. No, five three. Five three. Which kind of makes sense for like a shot oh, put a build. Oh, a foot shorter. Yeah, shot put build. Five you know, three. That's stockier. What's the fucking brother? Five three is fucking it? short as shit. That's like particularly short. When your dad's six three. Uh, he's, a, he's 17 years old, Luke Lesnar. Um, so, you know, still at school. Uh, he's a wrestler. He's wrestling at school. Not too much to speak of. Starting a podcast. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you going to work for Luke, Dave. Maybe. maybe. 160 centimetres is 5'3". That's it's a full 14 centimetres shorter than me. That's a fuckload. 5'3", mm. short as shit. Now, I just saw this on Instagram. I can't remember where. Dave might be able to see it, or we'll see it when he comes on the screen. That China's invented the first invisibility cloak. Oh, yeah. Get I saw this fucked. video the other day as well. Yeah. Have they really? All right. This is fucking insane if it's true. You ready? Yep. Look at that. I think the video will loop and it'll start again. Yeah. This music makes everything seem sick as well. Yeah, it does. Shout out to Interstellar. Interesting. Can still see it. Yeah, but not really, dude. Well, it's not Harry Potter level. Just you know wait I mean? this, wait. There's another one where it's fucking ridiculous. Look at this. Oh. The drop makes it seem more real. I'm like, I believe this. That's insane. Is this, is this bullshit? I don't know. I reckon it's, it's, it's given bullshit vibes. It's it, the reason I think like that I've got my, like my sort of it's given bullshit skeptical vibes. ears up is that surely this takes fucking international news everywhere. And it's not just on historic vids on Instagram. The what, what, like, okay, I think what they can do is, like, get cameras of that fucking, like, and then it's, like, a screen, so then it re... It projects what's around it. projects yeah. what's around it. With this, ca I'm wondering where the batteries and shit are. Maybe you don't need batteries. How would you not need batteries? Well, because, I don't know, maybe they've got some fucking tech, dude. It's giving bullshit vibes to me. Big time. Big bullshit Can vibes. Can we Google, Dave? My, bull my bullshit detector's going off in yeah, a big yeah. way. Beep, 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 beep. 
And this is the sort of thing you'd believe out the gates. Well, no, it's it the sort of thing I see and I go, let's fucking chop it up on the podcast, mate. That's what it's about. It's about bringing it in for you to run your bullshit meter over. So there's, I mean, there's been a few reports of different invisibility cloaks, some from December last year. Um, and there's a few different ways that they're going about it. So this one says it uses a light bending material to obscure objects of varying sizes. Um, it's, you know, been produced for military purposes. There's other ones that can be used to like fool cameras. So it's only technology that it can fool, not the human eye. This one, yeah, there's not a lot of information. Yeah, about see, it. look, if this thing was fucking out and about, we'd all know about it. Maybe. I, um, the fact we're even close to anything that's even something similar is insane. Once they're, once they're out and about, everything's fucked. Like, you won't know what the fuck's going on. Do you know what I mean? Potentially, but like. That's kind of, like, there's almost a, once you can just be invisible. Oh, it's game over. Or game begins. Game begins, but game over. But like, if you're, a, you know, if you're thinking about the worst, the worst people on earth and the way they would use it. So you, so based on this uh, video and historic vids, you've made up your mind that we're, we're we're moments away from invisibility clothes. No, just what Dave was saying about people like working on them and there's different things out there. So you can maybe be invisible from a camera. I'm just talking about like technology. Once it starts ramping up. You're telling me, how far do you think we are away from invisibility? Ages away? From cloaks? From just, yeah, from fucking whatever, if that... I don't, that reckon, I don't reckon we'll have cloaks in our In our, in lifetime. our lifetime? No. That we can... That do you, you want to make a, a $50 bet? Yes. Just to like when yeah, cloak, cloak cloaks... No, yeah. 100 bucks. Yeah, whatever. Fucking 100 bucks. Cloak bet. Cloak bet. And... I'm talking about... about this? I'm, no, 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 no. Let me set the parameters for cloak bet. And I want to add some parameters to yeah. it. So well, you it's important. Something. It's important that cloak bet has parameters. Yeah. When I mean cloaks in our lifetime, I'm talking about you and I being able to purchase it online or go or nip down to Target or Kmart or something or whatever store, insert the store here and buy an invisibility cloak. Hold on. So you're telling me that for, for me to be right, you have to be able to purchase it from I have to Golo. To, well, like, if no, they've from invented anywhere. one, then it's if, invented. No, if I, have to, I have to be able to buy one. You have to be able to yeah, get okay, your hands sure. on one. You can buy one. And and if I'm right, so let's go back to the shake. The $100 still stands. But no, we'll yeah. shake hands. We'll shake no, because I'm adding a bit to it. Well, I don't know what it is. got to buy me a cloak if it comes out, no matter how expensive it is, within reason of like $100,000. No. 100 grand? <laughs> no. Well, you got to buy me a cloak, though. I've got to buy you a cloak. Yeah. You, and you've got to buy... Well, but no, because it doesn't go both ways. So if there isn't one... I've then got to what go. Do you what's, do? So okay, what about this? Up to a certain dollar amount of a cloak. What do we think? How much are you going to cloak? So cost? then, well, the, the bet. The, so the, that moves the bet. Yeah, it does. The bet was a hundred bucks. Yeah, but I'm saying we're grand. adding some shit because you tried to add shit like I've got to be able to buy it from Target. What? I just said you got to be able to buy it. That's it. You got to be able to buy it for me, or buy it generally. You got to be able to purchase it. It's not like some military thing that might be that might exist. It's like no, no. You've got to know it's exists. You got to know it exists. You got to be able. You got to be able to get your hands on one. Okay, sweet. An invisibility cloak. In our lifetime. In our lifetime, yeah. Now, the, 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 there is a side of this where the bet only ends when one of us dies. <laughs> Correct. So you're kind of never going to get paid. Well, well, 50 years then. In, unless. 50 years. The only way that you win the bet, I think, is if one of us died. But I could win it at any point. So I can't win the bet. And we've already So I've got to go to Steph and be like, fuck it. And he owes me 100 Yeah, bucks. he owes me 100 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Which is fair. It's on record. You can play this tape. I will play it. I will play it. But I definitely think we will. You reckon we'll have cloaks? This, this thing's You reckon we'll have too. invisibility cloaks? Yeah. Yeah. Mate, technology's fucked. Like, from the, in terms of just the shit that we could do, or that we can do now that we couldn't do in the uh, early 2000s, just in terms of the way technology has gone. True, true. It's like it's completely different. But I've got to back my, my cloak-based sensibilities. You do. And leave a comment. You reckon... Punters and dribbles, what do you reckon? Like, who's fucked here? Like, I'm talking Harry Potter cloak. We're talking about a cloak you can buy. So it makes you completely invisible. Uh, I found a bit more information on this. The, uh, the last video in this one of the guy standing out in the garden, the one that's playing right now, has been... This, is, this video is about five years old and has been debunked as using a green screen. The first few people are saying uses an idea called lenticular imagery, which is basically that same thing of like... 
don't know, they used to have it on like footy cards as well, where like you look at it from a certain angle and yeah. it's different to looking at it on other angle. Oh, yeah. And Shout out and Tarzos. And the thing that um, is notable about these first few videos is that it's all used in like straight backgrounds with straight lines and not too complicated, used at a specific angle. So yeah. it's not like- You're talking cloaks, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're I'm not putting cloaks. this anywhere and it works. Yeah, it has yeah, to be okay. a, the right environment. The right everything, the right lighting. Yeah. Cool. Well, it's all right. We've got time. We've got time. We've got time. I You're mean, running out of it. What would you, like, they're also like, what the fuck would you really use it for other than like nefarious shit? Other than being a, like a perv. Yeah. <laughs> Like maybe pulling a prank on your mates, but like if I was to or have- Or sneaking around a castle late at night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 true. You know what sneaking I mean? Sneaking around a castle. Now, I don't know of any castles, but again, that's that's illegal. It'd come into use. It'd come with well, like sneaking out and shit. If you're a kid. Yeah. Or you're at boarding school, so. Or like if you get kicked out of the pub and then you just wrap yeah. that bitch around you and get back in. Yeah. Or like, you know, if you've also got a map that shows where people are and you're like sneaking around a castle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And there's like a mirror that yeah. shows you everything you've ever wanted. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Or like if you want to sneak off to like fucking like a little town nearby that you're not allowed to go to. You're not meant to go Something to. like that. Yeah. yeah. Or if you were like, you know, at the groundskeeper's hut and then the principal might happen to come and you have to hide because you shouldn't be there. Yeah. You shouldn't be yeah. But then right. the, you find out later that I th that same principal might be able to see fucking actually see invisibility cloaks, mm, but he doesn't yeah. say anything because he's a different, different He operates on a man. different, yeah, different yeah. level. Well, he yeah. just, you know, he puts everything into perspective and he's at the end of the world that this kid's in this hut late at night. I'm, um, I'm assuming that's Harry Potter. No, I no, no, no. I was just taking my mind for a walk. Oh, mate. okay. I haven't seen all this. Take my mind for a walk. Um, shout out to Invisibility Cloak. Shout out to Cloak Bet. Whose side are you on? Are you pro cloak or are you anti cloak? Yeah. Eddie, when we talk fucking Big Bash, dude, we do it thanks to our friends at KO. Tonight, Big Bash is back. That's also a really nice metric of summer now. Fucking oath it is. It's also a, a, a metric for me of. Silly season and of Christmas. Yes. I really do associate the two. I'm like, oh, it's Christmas time. Because the big bash is on. But like it's like it's, when it starts, like, oh, we're close. But also Eastern Seaboard, Eastern States, if you're living in Sydney right now, yeah. hot as fuck. Tomorrow gonna be hot. Saturday's meant to be in the forties. Like it's gonna be fucking oppressive heat. But daylight savings, evening, hot as shit. Big bash on. Doesn't even matter who's playing, but David, you can get the games up for us yep. on the screen. Well, I'm, I'm pumped to watch it tomorrow night after the Hacker Major, Big Bash. Straight into the fucking... Just ripping Into the town. pub. But I'm going to be watching tonight. We've got Brisbane Heat, is it? Against yeah, Brisbane Heat against the Melbourne Stars. Let me just, before we get into these matches, can I just tell you something that will put lead in your pencil? From tonight until essentially mid to late January, there is Australian cricket on every day or every night. Because I was singing this actually That's the other day. That's pretty fucking hot. It's morning. so hot. I was singing this maybe two nights ago. I was like, fuck, there's no sport on. There's nothing to watch of a night. There hasn't been anything on. There hasn't been anything years. on. No. There's been, a, you know, the World Cup, but that was also like time zone issues. Like, there just hasn't been oh, anything on. Obviously, the World Cup, but again, it's tough when it's a, on at two in the morning. Yeah. Three in the morning. Dude, four I'm in the morning. so horny for this. So tonight, we've got Brisbane Heat, Melbourne Stars, 7 15. Now, Sixers. Friend of the show, Spencer Johnson. Yes. But I think he's actually injured. But Friend of the show. No, friend of the show. Who's he playing for? Brisbane Heat. Okay. Melbourne Stars. I think they've been like decimated. Like all their good players have gone. Yeah, so Zampa was one of their big guns. He's now gone to the Renegades. Um, they've still got Glenn Maxwell. Go, they do have Glenn Maxwell. For a... Yep. For a, for a, a uh, mm, I think they must. Yeah, they do, yep. They're losing their glamour club persona. Well, they just, they've never won. They never won. Mm. That's it, though. They were the glamour club that never won. Too many stars, though, right? Too many stars. A galaxy of stars. Like, you're not the Galacticos. No, you, stars. yeah, you're not the You're, you're not, not Real the Madrid. Galacticos. And if you are, you've got to fucking put runs up, and yeah. you haven't. No, you tried fact, to be the Galacticos, and you've got none. Now, then tomorrow You had the late, night, great Shane Warne. That was about it. That was, that was it. Tomorrow night, Sixers, our boys... You know, I've got that future on. Sixes Renegades? I've got, oh no, Sixes to win the whole thing. Oh, I might have to follow that. Yeah, seven bucks I think I got. Okay, well, the Renegades, what are they paying to win it? They've got a few, they got Stoyner. Uh, sorry, they got Zampa. Yes, they got Zampa. They just got Nathan Lyon as well from I don't know the how Sixes. That works. Well, he won't want, he won't play much, though. So. That's what I'm much. trying to like, why the fuck would you? 
Because we've because we've got two tests in well, three tests in January this year because of the World Cup, so it makes things tricky. But I what think, I mean is, why would you? I think the test players are playing because Steve Smith's been like advertises he's going to play on Friday night. Is he playing? Is he playing tomorrow night? Yeah, for the Sixers. Yeah. Oh, sick! sick. I like. So I think that. Nathan Lyon will be in as well. Renegades, they But Nathan Lyon is picked second to Zampa in short ball, short format. Oh, they're playing two spinners, mate. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're saying at Marvel Stadium it's a good deck for spin, so Renegades are going to... Yeah, a lot of people are calling Renegades a bit of a dark horse for yeah. this year's comp. They've yeah. got... Yeah, those two, they've got good experience in Peter Siddle and Sean Marsh as well. they got they, Quint, Quinton de Kock from South Africa, Aaron Finch in the team. De Kock, I think, comes after the first two games, but, like, that's a big signing as well, getting Quinton for the whole fucking thing, essentially. Renegades were, like, the Melbourne Stars' little brother, and then it was like, oh, whoops, we won one, you haven't. Suck a dick. Again, not to just pile onto the Melbourne Stars, but you, you've been pathetic. Yeah, you're losers. Anyone that calls himself a star... Like like how, many times the, how many times have the Sixers won? Sixers have won three, three. titles. I was going to say three. Perth yes. Scorchers have won five, and then everyone else has won one besides the Stars and the Hurricanes, who have never won. Hobart. Shout yeah, out to... Who's, but so who's, the, who's the Hurricanes guy? Is it Bev? Bev. The Bev Woo-hoo! Show. Oh, yeah. Come on, Kai! I haven't seen say, Bev um, for a while. Yippity, what does he say? Yippity doodle! Yeah, or something. something like that. Where's Bev gone? Is he's, Bev still getting around is, town? Yeah, yeah. He's, well, he's a big Western Bulldogs guy in the AFL season. I'm just trying to find him on Instagram. Bev. It's That's also a good time of year seeing Bev Seeing Bev, dude. When you see Bev on your socials, you're like, fuck, all right. Bev's a Facebook guy, so you don't see a whole lot of Bev. Does he not share anything on Graham? And we just no, don't he's, follow he's him big there? on Graham, isn't he? I don't know. Can I don't you know. Find I've only ever seen him on Facebook so, when he goes live and shit. Yeah, yeah. he's definitely on Graham. Woohoo! That's what I see. Come on, Canes! Um, shout out to Bev. Then we've got Adelaide Strikers and Brisbane. So Brisbane Heat's playing fucking twice in two days before. Can you scroll down? Mm-hmm. Anyone else, mate? What's that about? Then the Renegades against the Scorchers, Sixers. There's so much cricket on, dude. The Sixers Draining and the, and the 7. Canes. Seven fifteen every night. Easy to remember. This is fucking terrific. Ko, Ko, Ko. Oh, so so Bev hasn't posted on his Instagram since AFL Grand Final day. Maybe he's having time off. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. What about, what his, about Facebook? his Facebook? Check his Facebook. Bev's gone dark. I hope it's since not since when the AFL Grand Final. Because, well, hang yeah. on, that's interesting. And I'll tell you why. Because he was a big racing guy, or well, he yeah. is a big racing guy. So he, True. for him to miss the whole spring carnival is. Has he posted any messages? Is he on Twitter? I'll have a look. I'm just getting his Facebook. Like, up. has Bev hung up the fucking the mic? Oh no, so all right. He uh, he's posted an hour ago. A new BBL season begins tonight. You ripper dipper. There you go. Uh, he's on. Uh, I think he's live streaming with like another thing that he does bunk out with the burnout. They're calling the heat taking on the stars. Fucking nice. There you go. So Bev's around. Bev's around. And he hasn't posted on Twitter since 2021, but I'm following you anyway, Bev. Fuck yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Big bash back punters and dribblers. Get around it. This is the, f- I'm so fucking horny for this. Steph's out tonight as well. Dad's going to post up on the couch. A few techies. No. Nah. Just a bloody, just a nice, calm Thursday evening, maybe a gummy, and watching some cricket. A few techies. Vegan gummies, maybe. <laughs> um, shout out to KO. Shout out to KO. All games. Every single Big Bash game. <coughs> live if you want to have sport on every fucking day, punters and dribblers, you'll need cards. You'll need it. That. You'll need it. I said there was a lot to get through, and there was. Plus, we had a little brief interlude with some shit we had to get to. So, we're already running behind. But Or in front. Or in front, depending on what you want to say. I don't know. couple of things we've got to get to. There's a shitload of carols we've got to get to, I assume, Dave. Do you know how many carols do you think we've got? There's around like 12 or 13. Fuck me dead. I'll say this early, early doors. If I'm not vibing it, I think we just cut them. Like in terms of you need to keep me I'm engaged. not going to listen to the whole I'm thing. I'm not going to listen to the whole carol. And that, e- that could be five seconds. Correct. So not every like if your carol does, is, doesn't sort of stack up globally, then you're, you're going to be you're in huge trouble. Now the thing that we need to get to though, uh, a matter of one, Neil Southern over Castrian, and what's been a, you know, it hasn't been a Scotty Bellotti sort of level of groundswell or a dribbler's day or a I'm a big Chad Townsend guy size groundswell for a baggy green, but there has been a. Well, I don't, there, there wasn't groundswell for those guys. No, I just mean like 
in terms not for bag, not for for getting a baggy green. I mean in terms of community like passion. Passion. But people are calling for Nilso to get a baggy green. They're saying it's time. Yep. Um, obviously Finacario made that wonderful carol that we played on Monday's show. Which was fucking terrific was. and I thoroughly enjoyed it. We said we'd sleep on it. Yep. And we have. We've slept on it. And this is our answer. And it is what it is. The answer's no. The answer's now, no with a, with a, with a with, caveat. Firstly, but I wanted to let that hang in yeah, the air. Yeah. <laughs> let just, it just like, let, I wanted him to drown in that. Yeah. Are you drowning? Are you drowning? It's a no. It's a no. And I'll tell you why. No one tells us what to do. That's, that's basically it. You don't fucking be... tell us what to do. No. We have had our eye on Nilso for, for quite some time. Quite I some think time. that's fucking well don documented. Our passion and our belief in Nilso is unquestioned. He's a fucking friend of the show, a friend of the universe. We've got a lot of time for Nilso. We've been waiting for the big moment, the, uh, the piece de resistance. Yeah. The, the the making of the man. Nilso's a highly touted junior who everyone expects to go on and do great things. We're yeah. just waiting. Like, if you look at someone like a kicking tee dribbler, he's been a part of the community for a long period of time, but he's also pounded out content. I, I like using kicking tee dribbler for, as an example because there's similar worlds where it's like not one thing. It's like a bunch of – it's an accumulation of sorts. Yeah, weight of runs. Weight of runs. And Nilso has – not done anywhere near. I was. Well, he hasn't been anywhere. Like <coughs> he's been there and he's contributed, and we love ya. But you need to do something now. You're in a position where <coughs> we're gonna like. You can do something here. You're close enough. You've got our attention. That put but it this like, way. Put it this way. Through through the uh, the help of your friends, others with baggy greens. I've noticed they're fucking. They're basically running this thing except well, for our iron side. Shout out to iron side for saying have strong. have have put you have kicked you out on stage. That's what's happened. Yeah. We, Tom and I were just fucking like lounging around and then the Baggy Green members have basically been like, listen, we're putting on a production featuring Nilso. Yeah. Come down Nilso and sit down play. and see what you reckon. And I'm sitting here waiting now and they've kicked you out, in, in, out into the bright lights and now it's time for you to do something big. Dance. Dance for us. Not in a condescending way, but like do something big for the community and, and that's it. Like we, Sign still delivered. Yeah, there's, you but, need to do but, something. But I won't be told when to hand them out no. because you weren't going to get one because you weren't quite there yet. And then you, your fucking mates have been like, it's time. It's not quite time. And Let me tell you. You don't just get a baggy green because some baggy green members made a video saying it's time. Like – that, no, no. Video, that video in and of it itself. Helped. No, it helped. But I tell you what, it helped Finachario, who already has a baggy green. <laughs> I know. He's the one who did it. Yeah. Where's your fucking video production? Yeah, yeah. It helped. It, it basically, it helped Finachario get a second, but then we don't, it's not how it works. No. It's time for you to do something. <laughs> That's it. That's what it's time That's for. That's what it's time for. You to do something. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry. That's that's what it's time for. Yeah. It's time for you to go the big lift. I just wouldn't have felt right to just go, yeah, you know what, Nilsa, you've got a baggy green. Like, why is that? Oh, because a bunch of, uh, you know, respected members of the community basically just said that it was time. Basically, they've what they've in they've shown one thing, and one thing only. It's time for you to do something big. Yeah, that's really they don't realise it. Because it, yeah, it is time. You're right. It, it is, is time. time. It's time for you to it's, fucking go the big lift. Yeah, it's that's time what it's for time to do for. Something. Now you wore a hat on that show, which was great, but it's been done before. The hat's been done before, dude. People have worn the hat. It's a great. It was great. But some guy wore it. it in a fucking Anastasia Palaszczuk ad. Exactly. Do you think that got given... more fucking credit than that show? No offense. No offense, but it did. Um, Is mate, he getting a baggy green? A guy did a come on at the pregame of the AFL. In that one moment, he's done more. Much more. That was national television, arguably the biggest broadcast of the year. Yeah, and to I'm be honest, I'm going to argue after NRL, but to, to be honest, time was that would have got your baggy green. Time was. All it's done, that video, is highlight that you need to go of the big lift. Yeah. Because you, you put it this way and you'll say, it's time for you to step out from the shadows. Yeah. Because you're in the shadows a little bit. Like, everyone knows you're there. We can see you in the shadows, but you're in the shadows. Mm. You're playing fucking, you're playing reserve grade right now. Yeah. And if you want to go out there and play first grade, okay? If you want to make the 11, dude, like... If you want to make the 11, if you want to go from Sheffield Shield to the fucking big time, bro then it's time for something big. And I'm yet to see it. And it's as simple as that.
you're a big guy, you're a big presence, but we need a big act. Yep. Now, happy for the the community to post in the P's and D's some things you think you might want to do. Some or, thought starters. Or happy for him to or happy for Nils or to happy go and for try. him to just fucking run this thing. Absolutely. But you know, like what's he gonna do? I don't we were we were like, do we what if what the fuck are you gonna do? And it's like, you know what? Not my problem, dude. No. Sometimes we'll ask for something. Hey, wow me. Wow me. Uh, but not just wow me, wow the wow the community. Was it Jason? Like this is wow. That's wow. That's look, look. We didn't all, ask for that. That's all wow. We didn't ask for that. Look at that. That's wow. And I'm not saying it doesn't need to be a gift. It doesn't no, necessarily it doesn't have need to be. be but it wowed us. We didn't ask for a wrestling belt for about even, but someone gave it to us. Wow. Someone made us completely out of the blue. Can't remember your name, but I'll see you at the the baggy green long lunch, which Neil says not invited to. Uh, made us a dartboard. Yeah, wowed us. But again, it doesn't need to be a gift. Tell you who wowed me this year, Scotty Bellotti. Wowed the fuck oh, out. Oh, wowed of the me. fuck out of it. Tell us. you what wowed me. Fucking old mate when we when he um when he started knocking the, those uh Matty Naves videos. Danny Exotic. Danny, Danny Exotic. Exotic. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. When Danny Exotic started rolling those out, I go, Wow. That is unbelievable. Mm. Time uh, you know, it's the time for uh a ch- like a cheap route gets you a baggie are long gone. Long gone. And also I need I need, I need like I need the ride of my life. Yeah. Now. Completely. But also the timing of the call for the baggy grain also very suspicious in that the long lunch just around the corner. Well, and there's no, probably a bunch I of them that want to come down. They want well, to rip. I and think, it's like, oh, Neil, so I want to come. It's time. Fucking. I, p- potentially. The, the, the cynic in you could say that. I think they were probably trying to pr- um, play on our... Uh, Christmas spirit. Christmas spirit. Yeah, but that's that's exactly right. It's this time of year. As Most in like, as in like it's year. caring. It's giving. But what sort of message would that send to the rest of the community yeah. that all you have to do is fucking make a video that you didn't even make that Finichario made, which was unbelievable, and he would have got a bag of rent for, but you weren't even you didn't you even you do didn't it. do anything. I mean, he wasn't even in it. No, well there was highlights of him. He wasn't in there like, hey, get me had stock footage from the stock internet. footage. Again, no. what's what message would that send? What would it send? It'd show weakness. It would. It'd show weakness. And I think it would show the punter and the dribbler that, like, you know, near enough's good enough. And that's not right. There's a reason because these things are covered. When, when Tom Quigley knocked up a fucking sign in Dubbo saying, home of Eddie Simpson, I reckon part of him thought, job done. No, nah, job's not done. No. Nah. Near enough's not good. Near enough, good enough is the wrong attitude. But, You've but got it, to go the fucking full hog. But, Eddie, when he did knock up that sign, we said, not good enough. Basically, before we'd even said... Not good enough. There was a sign up of me in Bow. Yep. He did it like that. That's a man. I don't think it's still there. I think it's still there. I haven't heard anything to the contrary. So see, that's the difference between Tom and I and you two. Is that you're weak, and that you'd roll over for Nilso just because he asked you to, <laughs> or maybe we're just you know nice, caring, accommodating people. I'm talking to you two. Yeah. Talking to you two. Well, we just got a lot of love in our hearts. You're what? weak. Well, what we are they even, saying? They think you should get it? We asked them yesterday and they said they, they should reckon Oh, yeah. Should. Well, we haven't even got bag greens of our own, so... Why the fuck would you get consulted. one? Listen, I will say this, and neither of you have got them, and, but, like, Tobler couldn't be further from a bag of green. Like, it, you know... And I mean, like, I love Tobler. I love him, like a son. But, like... I'm not going to pay him to get I'm one. I'm not going to pay him to get a bag of green. Now, Dave... Again, he hasn't got one. He's not close, but the kid worked for free for fucking five years. He'd be a lot closer. And, well, he's much closer. And now he's leaving. Like, the sentimental guy in me would be like, Dave gets one. But there's no way Dave's getting one. Because <laughs> <laughs> that'd be weak. Well, no, it wouldn't be weak. It's just more that he's bailing. So, fuck him. Maybe Tobler and I should, like, start our own little club. Like, you know how, you know, obviously baggy green for tests, but then one day players get, like, a yellow cap as well. Mate, so. Tobler wouldn't even get that. Tobler's getting you paid. You two would hand him out to anyone that yeah, fucking blinked or yeah, breathed. Yeah, you would. Had a deep breath. Listen, Tobler is Tobler's, Tobler's a fucking mate. He's in the inner sanctum. But he's getting remunerated for that. If we weren't paying him, he'd fuck off. Correct. Which is completely reasonable. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> I mean, well, listen, listen, if he worked as hard as he does for free, he'd get one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly right. But unfortunately, he's remunerated. Yeah, it sucks. And listen, Neil says not the only bloke out there who you'd think's pretty fucking close that doesn't have one. So 
It is what it is. Yep. Our mind has been made up. Yep. Um, we're not showing weakness here. We're not showing weakness. We want to be wowed, and it's as simple as that. Yeah. And he also has never wowed us with respect. He's been great. He's been community. great. He's a great community man, great team man. Just, wow not, re- just not ready to go to that next level. Um <laughs> <laughs> sorry Nilso. Um, sorry mate still love you yeah still but love you I'm sure sh- surely you understand probably a good time to remind uh, the punters and dribblers though that are coming to the baggy green long lunch looking forward to seeing you all there just what, it's not their fault no, they, just, they, they're trying to help out a mate no exactly I'm just saying looking forward to seeing him fucking hell sorry Nilso. yes you aren't coming <laughs> Sorry. Oh, he could wow us between. No, now and he next. could do. But Hang on, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put that. I wouldn't. I'm saying as it currently stands, Nilso's not coming. He's got time to wow. Us. He's got time. He's got at least two weeks. He's got two and a bit. Yeah. Two and, two, he's got two and a day to, to wow. Two and a day to wow us. <laughs> carols. Christmas carols. See, one one of these might blow our dicks off. That's it, dude. Imagine that, Nilso. No to you, and then someone else gets one. That'd be... Before we do the cows, shout out to the Roosters and Rugby Australia. Roosters, obviously, for signing Mark Nawanga Nitawase. And the Australian Rugby for losing. Probably the most... Not the right... Up and coming winger in the... In the in not the, the right time of year. Not the right time of... Um, not time of year, but like time in, the, in global rugby to be losing... A, a player of Mark's star. caliber. That's right. I mean, you sign Sua Ali'i, you look like you're making steps in the right direction, then you get bundled out in the pools, Eddie Jones fucks off, the, C, uh, the chairman fucks off, and now you've lost Mark, who is... But not just that. Chairman fucks off, Cabri fucks off, Harvey Norman fucks off. I heard, I read something somewhere that like another sponsor is potentially switching to a different code. I can't remember who that was. Not good. Then Mark Nwangani Tawase goes, Phil War. It would have been it, – imagine walking into Roosters HQ. They've probably rolled out the red cup. In fact, they definitely would have polite us there. Uh, Bro, the he great, trains with the fucking Waratah, so he'd see all of them. He'd see them all rolling in in fucking mercs and shit. Yeah, and like, you, Jesus could you imagine? Christ. Could you imagine how tempting that would be? Yeah. Seeing Teddy rolling in a fucking – AMG. Yeah. Um, Phil War C63 or something Phil War for uh, He's the CEO of Rugby Australia He said We're disappointed Mark has been a strong player Over the last 12 months However The outside backs Is a position of strength for us With great depth coming through We are confident We are well stocked With Talented wingers For the future That's a bit of spin Right That's a bit of I respect spin I respect And I respect Phil But that's some spin I respect, I respect spin. That's because I'm in. I'm in the spin game. That's spin. Warney would have but been proud that's, of. But He's like the best fucking player, wasn't he? That's, in the World Cup. But that wasn't great spin. No, that was pretty weak spin. To be honest, mm. like I'm not. I'm not feeling spun particularly. It's an attempted spin. You're right. It's not actually. It's that not, that it's didn't not, turn. It didn't turn. That at didn't all. turn. That was Zampa's stock ball. That was a stock. That was a Zampa stock ball right there because. Oh, you're well stocked in the back line, except Mark had a fucking absolute blinder of a 2023. Except that he's just been, like, Mark just got signed by the Glamour Club of the NRL. So, he's clearly a bit better than just, like, you, they weren't going after your other guys. Correct. And if the Roosters want you, it means you're good. That's tends to be how they work. I don't know if you've noticed. Now, he signed for 2025, Suali'i 2025. I wonder where they're still... Now? Now, I'm sure Joseph is getting the roar into that deal. <laughs> but Well, not from a financial perspective. No, but from a... Hey, he's just like... He'll be watching everyone with the... If you're Joseph, you want to hang around because you want to try to win a comp. Mm. Scratch that itch. Mm. Maybe he, a shield this year. You always come back, though. Yeah, but at least then you know you've done it. I know he's young and he can come back, obviously. Don't state the obvious. But it would be a nice way to exit stage yep. left to go and, you know, get pounded by fucking Georgia for the next four years. Yep, it's a good point. It's a great point. It's a great point. It's a great point. Um, Carols? Carols. Um, there's some breaking news, Eddie, while you're on the toilet. What is it? Tobler, I'll let you take the reins on this one. Sweet. So Manly have reportedly signed Hamole in a long-term contract for the next eight years. Wow. At Manly. 
Fucking finally some good news. Hamole, Ola Kawatsu. Yeah, baby. Worth around eight mil. Fuck yeah. Eight mil for eight years. Yep. Wow. How the Caps fuck do going we afford up. Caps all going these up. players? Back in the bitch. Back in that bitch. And who reported that? Danny Widler. Of gets in the way of the shot fame. Yeah. Love it. Do we want to start off with old mate who made the carols last yeah, let's start with Big Mal. Yeah. Big Mal. All right. So Thank Big Mal. Mal, he's the one last week, if you don't know, who basically made us a So Fresh album called So Dribbly. And as we said at the time of recording, we were like, he had to do a lot to lose at the baggy green because it was such, it was so good from a like CD perspective. He put so much effort into it, but he was, for lack of a better term, fucking terrible at singing and timing. But... We gave him, because of the effort, we gave him an opportunity to have one more crack. Is this it? No, is this it? No, no, no. It'll no. Be, it's just audio. Okay, oh, okay, so right. Audio. Okay. But he did come in with this CD of Big Mal, and he said, get a baggie or die trying. Like it. Let me have a look. Back with minimal demand, this emotional return to the stage. We'll see one dribbler tackle his fears, his critics, and his doubters to unleash his inner buble. Or is it bubble? He hasn't spelt it right either way. <laughs> in what his mum is calling... Very nice. Big Mal's stunning single is already being touted as the embodiment of the Christmas spirit. Hours on hours of vocal training have led to this point. You heard him on So Dribbly 2023 Christmas Edition. Don't miss him in It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas slash Get a Baggy Green or Die Trying. Oh, my God. And he's put, I respect he's put his Napoleon effort. on the CD. Uh, I mean, I respect – I would not know the first fucking thing about printing an image onto a CD. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. All right, hit it. Better music already to start. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. From barrel to Dubbo. Big day rose, not if but when. It's glistening once again. It's not just best in class, but best in show. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. That is for damn sure. But the dribbliest sight to see is Tom after a gummy learning to serve for. To chong like bonobos and consume some omos is Val Holmes as Aussies and plans. It's not too Magutu as four midnight blues and a big box of summer tans. Either way, as Denon would say, stay patient, doggies fans. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> this is not mayo. Because they're decking the hall with artisanal rugby balls. And Eddie rode those two waves like a pro. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas There's no need to dwell On a Volkanovsky handshake Or a slice of carrot cake Or if you can't smell Beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I can't believe it's that job. Tobler and Dior. Some tree roots for Tobler to trip. And plenty of bongs to rip. It's time to pound a score. Dribbler Christmas once more. <laughs> that was.
was a fuckload better. Bro, that was night and day better. Night and day. Because the fucking first, that, the, so dribbly, 23. Obviously, we didn't listen to the whole thing. No. Um, I can't believe wasn't it's your be- wasn't your Wasn't your best work. That was fucking way better. Way better. He told me that he put so dribbly, the whole album and everything together in about two hours. Like a bit of a rush job. And he spent five hours alone on just this one. <laughs> it's, okay. You, it, you, you can, can tell. tell. You can you tell. Can tell. I, I can tell that the first, the iteration of So Dribbly, although it packaged well yeah. in terms of the name, the CD art, and the booklet with all the songs in it, 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 it felt rushed. It did. It was a rush job. That, it was a hack job. That was pretty fucking good, dude. That was pretty fucking good. Now, I, I don't... It. I don't know in the sense that, like, do we listen to everything and work out this is who shot at redemption for Baggy Green. Yeah, I know. We I'm, did. I'm, we did say we would. We could give out multiples. We here, did. We did. But do we want to make a decision about this later? Do we yes. want to hear the rest of them? Yeah, I want to hear the rest. I of them. think I want to hear the rest of them. But that was fucking great. Way better. Way better. But the lyrics were actually very good. I, dude, I couldn't stop laughing. Delivery, uh, timing, rhythm timing, was way better. Rhythm. Uh, he, he found some. He found some rhythm. That's also, one of the greatest comebacks of all time because he was dog shit. His voice is way better. I don't know what the, well, I don't know what he was doing first time around. Was it, it was nerves. You know, sometimes it's like you're too shy, to, like you're tr- too cool to try. People, you got to try. You got to try. Because if was, you don't try, then it comes across as weakness. And you fail being shitter than you actually are if you just tried. Correct. Um, Correct. That was great. I kept laughing thinking about just dribblers, like just him sitting there recording this song in his room, like his fucking mum or his missus in the other room being like, I just don't know what the fuck he's doing. In there. Yeah, that's, you know the, I mean? that's the best part. That's the best bit. And that's why I just love dribblers and the dribbler community. It's like, we all are just, we're all the same in that we just like to do dumb, funny shit. And just like, there's nothing dumber than sitting in a room and recording a Christmas carol for the punters and dribblers. And I absolutely fucking love it. It's almost the dumbest thing you can do. Seriously. It um, just is. Let's keep going. But Big Mal, humongous comeback. Humongous comeback. That song's already more than Nils has ever done. No disrespect to Nilsa. I'm just letting you know, Nilsa. <laughs> so this one is from, who is this one from? Matt Robertson posted in the P's and D's group yesterday. Okay. Sweet. Sure. Here we go. He tried to play cool and thought he was smart He cocked up his leg but it wasn't just fart Tommy Berms has just shit his pants This isn't good Tommy He tried to sneak one, <laughs> he actually crowned His undies were white but now they are brown Tommy Berms has just shit his pants It's Friday the 13th, you don't trust this shit He thought no one would notice He thought, oh that was close but everybody else smelled it cause he has a beta nose Oh be careful now Tom The footage is saved Be good to top last and with the old Dave Tommy Burns has just shit his pants Probably again And I'm gonna fucking I need to like have a fucking Like what's that? I need to sanitize a bar <laughs> <laughs> no, nice. I didn't mind that. That, that was, was a nice good. effort. That was good. I liked it. I liked it. It was funny. It I like. I like the. I like the just the completely same pitch and tone. Yeah, yeah. It was monotone. I like that. Monotone's good. It was you nice. Know? Recorded into a phone. Yep. Dog shit audio, but that's what it's about. Yeah, it is. Thoroughly enjoyed it. All right. Do you want to pick one from this list here that you can see? Just go on. All right. You just tell us. Yeah. Let's go. I think this guy might have sent two. So we've got Dribbler's Wonderland or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Dribbler. This is from Cody B. Do you want to go? I feel like Dribbler Wonderland is one that we've heard before. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Dribbler, I feel yeah. like we've heard before right. as well. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, but we'll go. That's We probably have. Fucking. <laughs> I could be wrong, though. I wouldn't trust my memory. Not the short term. Trust my long term stuff. Mm. Oh, this is a video as well. Shit. You know Alex Einstein and your Scotty Bellotti's The KTD and St. Peter Volandis 
But do you recall the most famous dribbler of all? Rudolph the red nosed dribbler couldn't ever pick a horse. He's got shit tips. While other jockeys got first place, his would never make top four. Like the Tigers. All of the other punters used to laugh and call him names. Like you dumb cunt. <laughs> they always told poor Rudy, you'll never be of baggy fame. Then he picked up Big Ruffy, and Burmo saw how it played. Off with that great insight, you'll be gambling with me tonight. <laughs> now all the punters love him, and they write his tips with glee. Yippee! Rudolph the red nosed punter, you have earned a baggy green. Fuck, I liked that. That was fucking good. I liked it. I kind of want to see his other one now. Yeah, I want to see his other one. I'll tell you what. Video. The Rudolph the Red Nosed Dribbler seems like a fucking a guy you'd want to have a punt with. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. That was a good Cause video. Because he, he can pick rough. He can pick them. Good video. That was fucking good. That was good. Well done. I'm enjoying this yeah. video aspect. Yeah, same. Rose's chill to pop the bottle. The season is horizontal All across the land We've got vape in hand Walking in a dribbler's wonderland Daily memes from Bellotti While you yarn with Roger Furbury Drinking marks at the bar After taking nine five <laughs> Walking in a dribbler's wonderland Better Eddie's walking Tonka While Ella's busy saving a bush rat <laughs> Six pack city soon with Burmo's boxing No more smashing 19 cheesies for dad In the pool, the aqua aerobics In the shed, smoke narcotics Tobler and Dave relax in different ways <laughs> <laughs> Fuck man This guy's pretty fucking good This guy's pretty good He's right up there He's right up there I'd say he's probably at the top right now I enjoyed the fuck out of them from Cody B Cody B Well done Cody B Not to be mistaken with Cardi B Maybe that's what he's going for That could also just be his name uh, We'll come back to that one <laughs> Potentially Hard to say Hard to say. Uh, really fucking enjoyed those. Yeah. They were good. Cody B was very good. So well written, good tempo, good backing vocals. But good backing lyrics. Track, rather. Good lyrics. Vi video was nice. It was, it, was fun to, it was fun to watch along. It was quite calming. Mm. It was calming. Now, Dave. Yeah, this next one here is from Carl Pruckner. Also got a video. A lot of video fucking work here. Well, we did ask for it. They told me guaranteed roots are wrong <laughs> Just a sip of this rosé I'm going to chong The finest dribbles I no bring video. Pa yeah. Yeah. Pa It's a video file with just audio Cheeky Seeing day fall through the roof Would have been so much fun Rap a pam pam, <laughs> fucking lefty car. Now, <laughs> Tommy Tobler can't seem to have fun. I'm probably gonna respect the fact that Robbins is day go. one. <laughs> Ten more seconds. Okay. Ten more seconds? Yeah. I just want to see where he comes back in. Now let me speak on Tom Birmingham. Right, what the fuck? I don't even understand what he's saying. No, I know. <laughs> no. Listen, appreciate you sending one in. That was a of bit. Of course. 
we very much appreciate it. you got to be ruthless here, right? It's like American Idol or whatever. You know what yeah. I mean? Or The Voice. Or The Dribbler. The Dribbler. Except we're both Simon. Yeah, and our chairs are already turned around. Um, well, in, in Idol... You oh, it's true. Now you're just sitting there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. That's... This is the voice. Bow, now, now, now. Jeez, it would have been nice if Dave had these ready to go, wouldn't it? Well... This one seems like it's just poisoned my computer trying to open it. Oh, could you imagine? <laughs> could you imagine if a dribbler's just gone, this is a layup for spamware? All right, uh, Sa Sam DeFrancesco, <laughs> yours is not working. We might come back to that. Oh, uh, you this, snooze, you lose. No, nah, you won't come back. If it's not working, it's done. This next one from Nick Turner. Oh, holy night, Dior and Thomas Tobler, you were so young in October 2008. What the fuck? With outstretched arms, he planted the ball down firmly. And he rejoiced as he scored a famous try. The thrill of hope snuffed out for young David. For Tobler awaits a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees <laughs> And hear Steve Menzies scoring Against the Melbourne Storm O oh, night of the 40 nil drubbing <laughs> Oh, nice. I want to see how high it goes. Yeah. Divine, <laughs> oh, night. Oh, night, divine. <laughs> Fall on your knees and hear your father's voices. Thomas William, George Birmingham, and Edward Lloyd Simpson. Our podcast overlord, seagulls forever, storm never. Oh my god. I actually really I enjoyed love that. that. Dude. There was a period there at the start where it was like, fuck this. No, that, that was, was that was fucking insane. Brilliant. I tell you what, I would say this. Fuck, that was good. That was fucking great. Oh, the lyrics were unbelievable. The, your commitment there to fucking back yourself and go, listen, I've got the best voice of all time, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it all out on the court. Yeah. That bloke left it all out on the court. Yeah, he did. And I can't help but respect the fuck out of that. And his voice wasn't that bad either. But he's but he committed. Tom. Yeah. Yeah. That's that wasn't an easy that's not that's not easy range. Who was right that? There. That was Nick Turner. Nick so Turner. Got Cody B, Nick Turner, and Big Mal. Nick Turner, that was There was something about that. There was something yeah. about that. I don't know what it was. Because I'm like, there's a part of me where I'm like, did you even write that? Or did you just like make that up off the top of your dome? There was something about that that was like so like the song he picked is not your conventional Christmas carol, right? That's also part of it as well. Degree of difficulty. Mate, that was tough. To go out there and fucking pump that out was not easy. No. I enjoyed that. I loved it. I just did. All right, the next one here comes from Ken from Kensington, who oh, has fuck. created a Gmail address to keep their identity uh, secret. <laughs> so if you want to email Ken from Kensington at gmail.com, you might get a reply there. Or a dick pic. Likely the latter. Jingle bell, jingle bell, suck on my cock. <laughs> Testicles swing beneath my cock ring. 
Tobler and Davy, let's have some fun. Who'll be first to make any come? Oh my Jingle bell, God. jingle bell, suck on my cock. <laughs> Big day rosé, all male or jay. Dancing and prancing down Anzac Parade. Dressed like a French maid. What a bright time, it's the right time. Get the amyl nitrate. Jingle bell time is a swell time. Tom and Eddie, won't you come and play? Giddy up, Birmingham, pop out those beads. Juggle this throbbing high. Oh my god. Roger Fabry's got nothing on me. <laughs> Kenny's coming in high. Oh, it's pretty Toblerone, good. Toblerone, Toblerone, snap off a piece. Marathon man and certified ten. Aqua aerobics in the summer air. Kenny's almost there. Oh my god. For the climax, it's the main act. Little old D or Dave. He's a commie, but my dummy. It ain't required where I want to play. Oh fuck. Oh my god. That's all I've got. Oh my Kenny's god. Running out of pub. Bunting and dribbling all around the clock. Won't you suck on my, won't you suck on my, won't you suck on my cock? <laughs> that was oh, that fucking was good. That, that was, was fucking good from Kenny. That was so good. Shocked me. Now, I mean. That shocked me. It's hard to give a bag of grain to someone you don't know who they are, you know? It's well, yeah, exactly right. That was fucking good, though. That was great. These have been great. He's got a dirty mind, that cunt. I know Jesus he does. Jesus Christ. Kenno. Kenno from Kensington. Um, these have been really good. These have been good. We might need to release these as an album. Yes, I think so. Our own album. Yeah. Uh, this next one's from Anthony Vizzle. 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 V-I-Z-L. Yep. Yep. And it's got a video as well. Oh, fuck yeah. And he sent it in a nice format, so good for him. Kings, Tom and Eddie drop pods for us P and D heathens. It's that time of year again, horizontal season. Watch the day-night test at night. The bloke beers iced cool. Denon wants his kid playing for Queensland. What a fucking tool! This time of year we come as one Drink rosé and give peace We got the Ashes and World Cup Besto can't stay in his crease All hell our sport merch sells out Tobler runs a marathon D all laments his lifestyle choices As he <laughs> hits the ball Just frozen. Thought this was a format you frothed, mate. Yeah. Well, you jinxed it, it started it. out well. You jinxed it. I don't know what's happened here. It was after he shit on you, you fell at your bong's lifestyle yeah. choices. They have been good, though. They've been very good. The, uh, the timing a little off on this one. Just a pinch. Just a pinch. Trying to fit syllables where they don't exist. Yeah. He's inventing He's space. In the, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, listen. 
if the video doesn't work at some point. We, listen, if the shit doesn't fit. That's it. Like, yeah. sometimes we can't. It was, listen, congratulations. Thank you to Vizzle. Yep, the V and Newey dribbler. The as V and called, Newey. So. Like, that'll go on the album. That It's made the album. It's made the album. It's made the album. That's for sure. Uh, but if the, if the video doesn't work, the shit doesn't fit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All right, this next one, Brandon Savage. Uh, oh, okay. Yep, the best Christmas song ever. All right, well, it better be now, bro. Brandon Savage. Of- P's and D's. I present to you the greatest Christmas song of all time. Whoop. Hey. Time to get into our work with a big glass of rose. Horizontal seasons here. Now let's beat up to your day. Maddie scissors in the park, even scissors in the dark. He scissors when he got the runs from the resto bar. Oh, dribble on, dribble on, dribble to the boys. Stay patient, all you Bulldogs fans going deep into the loin. Hey, dribble on, dribble on. On. Did you know Tom's a dad? a dad? Guru could be anything. I'm a Christmas guy like Chad. Big, big Christmas guy. Big Christmas guy. Hey. Eddie is an alpha. He loves saying, listen. The dribblers went real crazy when Cleary and Fella were kissing. Dribbler day went crazy as Velotti got real lazy. Now he got into his work. Now he's on the top like Jay-Z. Oh, dribble on, dribble on. Roger Fabry is real weird. Timmy is from Coomer and Tom will never shave his beard. Hey, Dribble on, dribble on. Thank you for this year so much. Life and death and taxes and manly 13 plus. Life and death and taxes and manly 13 plus. Yeah, dribble on, boys. Not bad. Not bad. Bit of like Aussie hip hop about it. A little bit. A little bit of Bliss and Esso. A tinge of Bliss and Esso. Hilltop, a bit of Hilltop Woods. Hilltop Woods in there for yeah. sure. I kept like when they kept repeating everything, it just reminded me of that um, at Idol audition where the brother's like, yeah. Oh, oh. in the background, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah. Board. Yeah. That it was, was obviously a lot better than that, but. Yes, but you, I know what you're saying. That sort of energy. Look, it won't get your baggy green, but that was good. It was good. All right, Jesse Kerno up next. I think this one might be about me. Oh, okay. Cute. All right, boys, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Merry Christmas, dribblers. And I don't want a lot for Christmas. Tom and Daddy's all I need. We can see. When Monday and Thursday comes around. Jesus. Turns my frown upside down. A glass of big day gets me late. I can't believe 160 is all that I pay. And I don't need a baggy green. Do the Tigers miss Tim Sheens? Did Kendrick really play cricket? <laughs> my favourite part was about pickets. So make my wish come true. Fucking hell, who is this cunt? Christmas is we. <laughs> Pipes. 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 Dude. He'd bro. be the best singer in the community. You can find Jesse Kerno on Spotify with a couple of releases there. I there was going to say, say Jesse can, can fucking sing, sing. sing, dude. Jesus Christ. Did you find him then? Just then? Or is he yeah, no, like- I just found him then. That's insane talent from Jesse Kerno. Big fan of you. I bro. would like to hear that full song. Like, I, I, he kept it short, which is great yep. for this situation. But I just want to keep hearing him sing. Yeah, yeah, I want to hear him sing a little but bit. But like, more. I like hearing it about us. Like, you know, the the, the self indulgent, self absorbed people we are. Yeah, yeah. Sing about sing it about sing about the community. Sing about punting and dribbling. But, but like, sing about, sing us. about us for long. Correct. Time. Exactly. You finish too quickly. Yeah, yeah. Sing like, about you have a good voice. You can keep singing. I want to be serenaded. That's yeah. all I'm saying. And Tom but, wants to be serenaded yeah. too. That was good though. That was fucking great. Uh, Reese Morrow. Next up. Let's go, Reese. Let's go, Reese. Hey. Hey boys, I've made a little bit of a Christmas carol for you and uh, nothing says Christmas carols like Paul Kelly. 
So here's my Dumbo. rendition of how to make rosé. The Luca Brasi like version version of the song. Like it. Hello, sport. It's Miles here. Hope you're meeting well. It's the 21st of December. Now we're getting parallel. If I get a baggy green now, I'll wear it till I die. Won't you kiss Tobs and D on Christmas Day? Please give the baggy green to me. Guess Daly's captain of Queensland. Subs flying into the corner post. They say it's gonna be 13 points or more. And get means by an old roast. And who's gonna make the rose now? Better wanna taste the same. Just add flower skin and a little red wine. And don't forget Tom and Eddie. For the sweetness and the tang Give my love to Turbo And a jabber went Burbo I'm sorry for the jerseys We screwed up this time We'll pray to St. Peter And I'll be thinking of him On a Christmas morning When I call the Dribbler hotline Not bad. Not bad. Insane. Lyrics were weird. Didn't reach. Didn't, didn't reach. reach the crescendo. Because he was also asking for Baggy Green. So. Yeah, but it was just like, and then, you know, there was Listen, a couple a couple off lyrics there. But, credit to you, it was good. But not in the top. No. You're not competing for Baggy Green. Incorrect. This next one's from Jay Peckler. Who's he also said Parallel. Yeah. Parallel. Yeah, Jim he's got the rock. Nice yeah. Oh my god, look at this guy. Yeah, this, this, is a this bit guy of work, looks this like fella. a fucking dribbler. Yeah. Let me tell ya. If you can see what I'm saying, punters and dribblers, or you can on the YouTube. Dribbler, 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 rock. Thomas Birmingham just shit in his jocks. Punting and dribbling the holidays through. Rose for Brecky ain't uncool. Correct. Dribbler, 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 rock. Edward Simpson's hips are unlocked. Dancing and dribbling through Dubbo Square. My ties in the air. Ooh, this guy can sing. Time, it's Rose time. Let's root the night. He can he sing his cup. Dribble horse, where on the punt. Maxwell's just hit a ton. Build the man a statue, it's his tenth of the year. Hunters and dribblers cheer. Yeah. She and his zip shredding on the guitar as well. Dribbler, 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 rock. Toddlers, aqua, aerobics have brought the vibes up. Dave's hammer and sickle won't bring the vibe down. Get the gimp mask for that clown. <laughs> what is the time? It's rose time. Let's dribble the day away. Dribbling time, horizontal time. <laughs> 
After pounding big day rosé Giddy up, dribble horse, now we're off on Tom and Eddie save Christmas again Big day pounded us into the core of the earth That's the dribbler, that's the dribbler That's the dribbler ride Fuck dude, I love that as well that was pretty fucking good. I thought that was great. That was really good. That and was he had a great. fucking great voice. Great voice. The lyrics were good. It was good vibes. I like that he pointed out that we're saving Christmas. Like I don't Which is a reasonable it, that's point. That's true, right? Like Tom and Eddie saved Christmas. I was thinking, I've got a thought about all this. I wonder if we listen all first. Or if I can give you my thought. <laughs> what do you well, you've got you know what the thought is. What do you think is best? I think much like Idol, fucking The Voice and shit, we're the judges, right? So we let you through to the next round, but then it's up to the people to decide like what their fucking favourite carol is. Yeah. I reckon we pick a top five or a top three. Because I can't, there's a couple I can't no, fucking I can't, genuinely I can't, split. I can't pick, yeah. And I'm not, I'm, I know we said we'd give out multiples. Retracted. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon we fucking yeah. Let's see what the punters and dribblers reckon. Who's yeah. the fucking put who, it to the who wins the, the carol of the year? Yeah, and we'll have the voting over the weekend. We'll what, finish this. We'll what do you think? Three. I think that's it. That's what we do. Do you think that's a that's good what idea? We do. That's what we and do. then we can just put the link in the fucking buy, and it'll take you straight there and shit. Because it'll take you straight to the post. On punters and dribblers. Whatever, we'll work that we'll work out. That we'll out. work that out. But are you? It'll are be you, pinned to the top of the punters you, and dribblers page. Bang. Do you feel me? I'm with you. Because I, mate, I was. Because like, there's a couple where I'm like, fuck, these are good. Yeah. But then I'm also like, what up? Other people think. Yes. You and know this what I is mean? more where you go. These are three that we think are baggy green worthy, but only one of them's getting it. Yeah. And we will pin it to the top of punters and dribblers, and we'll vote until Monday. The podcast, my yeah. podcast on Monday. Yeah, that works. But is there a way to take it behind closed doors so that people don't know, and then we announce the winner? Can we do silent polls in there? We probably can. Oh, we'll work that out. We'll, out. we'll work it all it out. out. We might even be able to, like, you vote on the Instagram. Oh, because you can see that. No, no, actually. no. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. But that's what's. Just keep your eyes peeled. We'll put up a video or some shit. But let's keep going. Let's bring this home, and then. Max O'Neill's got this next one. Your blue head lefty is a very touchy guy. Not great, Max. And if you <laughs> just <laughs> he'll remind you of their rights. All of the other dribblers. No, it certainly love to laugh and call I him. Get, nah. Nah. I think it pal- next. You, you come straight off dribbler rock or whatever that last one was. Sorry, can't. You're like, listen, we're talking about baggy greens here, dude. Not good enough, bruh. All right, Matthew Simmons. Matthew Simmons? Mm. This is a Christmas story regarding the fever dream of a certain ex-Rugby Australian executive. Well, it's the 24th of December And he's just left Mr Wong's A dawn in R.M. Williams And an artisanal wallaby's thong It doesn't matter, no one died. Plastered in the Uber He returns home like a king Drunk texting PVL and claiming Suli he was a win. Well, a big gold sack of presents, he meanders to the tree. Oh, and what's he find instead of border wine, a glass of milk, his enemy? Well, the lock eyes for a moment, and in tears he tries to flee. What but is he's this? quickly stopped and made to drink the lot by our friends Tom and Eddie. So Merry Christmas, Hayne hey McLennan, and head coach Judas too. At least we've got the troops to beat Peru. I'd take another five Suales if I could. Merry Christmas to the traders. 
raise a glass of milk to you Cause now all our famous wallabies are poo I kind of like I don't it. think we live in a world I do yeah. like it We shouldn't live in a world, I should say Where if something goes, uh, everyone gets shot for it So Merry Christmas, Tom and Eddie and all the dribblers I like that. I actually like like that a lot. I enjoyed that. That was like fucking, there was like a lot in that. There was a lot to it. His lyrics were really good. The way he sort of put that together. I actually sing. I actually really liked that. That was good. I enjoyed that thoroughly. That's it. That's that was the last one. Oh no, there's um What about the musical dribbler? What's that? That was the same one. That's Matthew Simmons. You just sent it to me twice. Matthew Simmons. How to make potties? I just forwarded you that this morning. Oh. Oh, here we go. How to make potties. Just, right. just Matthew Simmons. Brava. Brava. There was a bit in there where I was like, oh, this guy's fucking pretty talented. It reminded me of, and this is high praise, that fucking... I know you're going to say. Yeah. Who, who, what's his name? Well, I, Tim, I, Minchin? I, yeah. Tim Minchin? Yeah. Tim Minchin energy. Yeah. Tim Minchin of, I'm not happy with his late things, but we won't get into that. Let's not ruin the vibe. No, guys. shut up. Let's just uh, let's just go with the flow a little bit. Shut up. Can you go with the flow, mate? Yeah. I'm going in with your, the flow. In your remaining time yes. here, let's yeah. just go with the flow. I knew the wavelength Tommy was on because yeah. it did remind me of Tim Minchin, which musically is a high praise. Did you like that musically? I liked that, yeah. I liked that was it. good. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was very impressive. That's going into voting. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Know that. Yeah, that's in there. That's in there. That was good. All right, let's go. Right. This is called... This is called How to Make Potties from Sam Brigney. Yep. And he's included a little bit of cover art here. <laughs> Oh, my God. Tom Burnham. Oh, my God. God. I have a go at this bloke. What the fuck? How to Make Potties. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, those eyes kind of remind me of me. Or is it my nose as well? It Can't, looks like it you. Look, no, I know. What I'm like. He's obviously Photoshopped me on there. I'm just trying to work out which bits. Is that eyes and nose and beard? Or is it just like... Like or, or, does he just, or does he just look like you? Or is that... No, that looks Photoshop, doesn't it? Mm, Maybe not. No, I don't think so. I think just Those eyes like actually... You. Yeah, it's hard It'd to fucking It'd be a very tell. good Photoshop job if it was. It's fucking good if it is. It can't, well, if that guy just looks like himself naturally, then he looks a bit fucking weird, don't you reckon? He might have done... That might be some AI. All right, whatever. Because the eyes are a bit fucked. Let's go. They look a bit fucked. Tom here. <laughs> I hope you're keeping well. We've got the Monday morning podcast. But I don't know if you can tell. But I'm under the weather <laughs> now. <laughs> After nine techies last night. <laughs> Manly on the bulldogs into the earth's core And we ripped all right This is fucking good too No, 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 no Tommy, stop Dave's come from his protest Tobler's come from water erodes you're always sick, it fucking shits me to tears, mate. And sort out your dry red nose. <laughs> Who's gonna do the party now? I bet it won't sound the same. Just go to Macca's, get a McMuffin and an ice long black. Maybe some nuggets on the sides with that sauce, with the sweetness and that extra tang. I'll give my love to Jarchi and to Scott Bellotti. Tell them I'm 
sorry I screwed up this time But the fucking techies <laughs> And the big day sent me I shit myself this morning <laughs> If I come into work today <laughs> About even got a new pro the random stats guy called Rando Do you remember the last one? What was his name again? Just do the same thing for this episode And Dior Oh, I'm even gonna miss Dior And his blue hair And his manifesto And his beady little left wing comments Call my mate up streety <laughs> His guns are nice and meaty but Chunk was pretty funny Do you remember that? Or maybe call up Kempi The one that injects daily The one who scored that cool try But did nothing after that <laughs> Or maybe call Louisa The Kiwi Jachi teaser Who ate too many Maltesers When she was young and fat Call anybody you want to I'm saying horizontal I'm not doing this fucking episode with you today I feel like I ate a bad curry from the rest of us I feel like a party would only make it worse I feel like I need a day, I work too hard My dick's been grinded to the bone too far Evie Rose woke me up last night She came into my bed at 4am Pissed on my thigh I'm fucking over it I'm not coming in, Eddie I'm sorry, Dior I'm sorry, Topla You can still get paid But I'm not doing this shit I'm having the fucking day I'm not showing up to training tomorrow You can all go fuck yourself <laughs> Oh, Holy that was shit, fucking dude. elite, dude Holy shit, dude That was fucking elite That... And now he's put me in a real bind. He's put me in a hey, bo- bro. Because if that doesn't win. That's the best. But it would win. Or but do we just park the voting and just go That fuck gets it. a baggy green, dude. That's the best fucking thing ever. Yeah, that was amazing. That's the best thing ever. Like, it'd be, it'd be ridiculous. Sorry, votes off. <laughs> <laughs> we can't We not. can't go past that. That's the you, best thing the I've thing ever is, fucking is, Can I be honest with you? And I'm going to be really honest with you. Because I know I can be. I called for a vote prematurely. You did. You said you were going to hold it till the end. And I'll tell you why. I called for a vote. Because of I was concerned that none of them... Stood out. Wowed me. Head, head and shoulders above. Like, wowed me and said, you know what? I get a green. I wasn't wowed up. You no. know what I mean? Yeah. That was why I called for a vote. I'm like, I can't decide. There was some greatness in there. There was. Don't get it twisted. There were greatness. There was greatness in there. But I was like, I'm not wowed. I can't decide. There isn't an out like a, a that winner. That you can't. That, Where's that's, that? That's- he walks along. Fucking what's his name? His name is uh, Sam Brigney. Sam, Sam Brigney. Brigney comes along and fucking straight up kills it. Great voice, Sorry, great Sam, tempo. Sam Rigney. Sam Rigney. Rigney, the rigster. Riggs. The rigatoni. Comes along and fucking just nothing but net, baby. Dude, that was... Nothing but net. That's, truthfully, you've got a baggy grain. Welcome to the 11. Firstly, Riggs, you're in. But that's like one of the best things that anyone's ever, like from a creative dribbler contribution that's fucking hilarious that was unbelievable it was fucking funny the delivery was insane and also using paul kelly's how to make gravy now that i reflect upon it i'm like of course what else would you use but the thing is that other people have used that song before but they're just nothing like you know what i mean like but i'm not surprised that that song was was Part of the bag, greatness. Agree. Yeah, no, 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 agreed. That's what I mean. Agreed. Like you, you know, fucking red nosed reindeer. Like sure, but you probably but is there greatness win? in yeah, there? Are you going to win a baggy green for red nosed reindeer? Probably. You might, but I wouldn't be shocked. If but you all did. I'm saying is Sam Rigney didn't pick that, no. and Sam Rigney's in the eleven. Yeah, because Sam Rigney just fucking killed. He just that. came in and blew everyone's cocks away. Halfway through, I'm like, this guy's getting one. No, same. I was there sitting there going, "There's no vote here, bro." Yeah. Well. I mean, we could have rigged it. Anyway. <laughs> and he's done, a, he's done a good Photoshop job on the cover. I told off. you it was a Photoshop. Yeah. I didn't realise that was the cover. No, neither. 
And he's that's you, yeah, yeah, that's he's photoshopped his ass off. It's unbelievable. Put my weird face on there, or his, or his. That's or true. but it's probably but maybe it's you because you're singing to me. Yeah, maybe I think, that, I think that was it. That was fucking too. Yeah, yeah there, that's yeah, what he's yeah, done. Yeah. That's what that's he's my done. Nose. Tom Birmingham, there's your name. Oh, yeah, for fuck's sake, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> We are slow, but we get there eventually, punters and dribblers. Um, thanks, big thanks to everyone that fucking sent in carols. Thank you to everyone. There they're will all be a, great. There will be an album that was fucking terrific. I feel sorry for fucking some of you yeah. who, who. You know who what we're going to do though? We're going to pick our top five favorites. And we're going to send you out. whenever these hats come out. You'll get one. Yep, when they arrive in the country, you'll get one. Top five. Um, Sam Rigney, dude. dude. He, that was a fucking bee's knees, cunt. Turbo at hellosport.com.au with your address, all that sort of shit. And then I don't know where your base, bra, but... 20, well done, Rigney. 22nd of December. Rigney from the fucking clouds late. Last one. Yeah, last, last one. one. Dave was saying no. We're we almost done. missed it, yeah. What did you think, boys? Was that the best thing you've ever that heard in your life? easily the best one. It was one. fucking sick. And yeah. he did it from the perspective of like someone writing a letter... Just like the original song. Mate, it was and unbelievable. It even sounded like Paul Kelly yeah. parts. Mate, like, it was unbelievable. And, and he was like, I'm having the it. day off because I fucking pounded techies. Dude, he put the whole thing. Ray's pissed on my fucking face yeah, and shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. Yes. And I reckon he would have done all that instrumentation himself, it sounded like. Yeah, it did sound like he was doing that himself. Fucking wowed me, Rigby. Yeah, that's wowing. Wow. Let's that's listen, wow. listen, as if I need to point it out one final time for our good friend, Daniel Nielsen, that's what it looks like. Who's also been damning Tobler, like, put me out of my misery. Well, consider yourself put out of misery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's us. Thank you again to everyone who puts them in, mate. Like this is this is why the community's awesome. Love you up. Ciao. Bye. Could you two just not talk anymore? <laughs>